Wheeler Dealers is about saving repairable vehicles by overhauling them and then selling them to a new owner. The British television series that is now produced by Velocity Channel is running in its 15th season. The first 13 seasons, which saw the likes of Ed China and Mike Brewer, is hailed as one of the best car shows on TV. From season 14, Ed China was replaced by Ant Anstead. China, who handled the helm of Wheeler Dealers for over a decade, surprised many when he left the show in 2017. Though it's been a year since the genius mechanic walked away from the show, many fans still don't know why. Today, eCelebrity Facts is here to unveil some secrets of the show. But before digging in, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be on our notification squad. Why Ed China Left the Show the Wheeler Dealers cast member left the show due to disagreements over the strategy of the new producers. He gave a detailed explanation about his exit through a video on his YouTube channel. He said that Velocity wanted to cut down on the detailed and in-depth coverage of his workshop fixes. He also claimed that the network believed that producing them would save the production time, money, and effort. However, this did not bode well with Ed, who believed that this would compromise the quality of his work and erode his integrity and that of the show. Ed China After Wheeler Dealers Shortly after leaving the show, Ed posted a series of Ask Ed videos on YouTube, where he answered fans' questions. He also explained how he struggled to get his tools back from the garage at Wheeler Dealers. Not only that, his former host Mike also accused him of trashing the show after 13 years via a Twitter post, and the feud continued with Ed throwing shade at Mike in his YouTube video. He then appointed Pure Agency to help him manage his brand, Garage Junkie, e-commerce website, his PR, and social media. While Ed posts informational videos and answers fans' queries through his YouTube channel, he also starred in a commercial for a lubricant, XCP. Finally, Ed got back to our screens on May 1 with his show, Ed China's Garage Revival, which showed him working with car owners who need their cars restored. Later, he came up with another web series, Built by Many. Mike Brewer's Sufferings After Ed's Exit According to Mike, Ed's announcement that he was leaving Wheeler Dealers had a negative effect on his family. He said that the abuse his family had suffered also affected his crew, his friends, charities, employees, employers, and fans. In addition to that, he also claimed that he was abused on the streets, at supermarkets, at car shows, at restaurants, and everywhere he went for what Ed did. Mike also expressed his dissatisfaction that Ed did not inform him that he was leaving. He, however, said that he had enjoyed working with Ed for the 13 years they did the show together, and that he wished him all the best. Stating how important the show is for him, he said, I live and breathe this show I nurtured over the past 13 years. Wheeler Dealers is in effect my baby, but above that, the show is my job, my livelihood, my breadwinning support for my family and my career that I have proudly built over the past 20 years, entertaining people on car shows. Who is Ant Anstead? Ant Anstead is a multi-talented man. He is a car builder, an artist, world record holder, designer, and semi-football player. He started building cars from a young age and was among the youngest armed police officers in the UK. He has worked in shows like For the Love of Cars, Building Cars Live, Chinese New Year, New York, America's Busiest City, Million Dollar Car Hunters, The One Show, Sunday Brunch, and This Morning, among others. His indulgence in varieties of shows proves his versatility in the world outside cars. When the news of him replacing Ed China came, fans of the show got skeptical, wondering if it would be any good. However, he surprised fans beginning from the first episode. The show is still highly entertaining, as it features gorgeous cars and still has frontman Mike, who introduces fans to interesting shops. The show still offers little nuggets of automotive history and has plenty of wrenching shots and technical explainers. All in all, the show's concept still lives on. Mike Brewer's The Wheeler Dealer Know-How Mike Brewer is also an author. He has released a book, Mike Brewer's The Wheeler Dealer Know-How, where he has detailed about buying, owning, and selling classic cars. The book discusses specific vehicles, their trouble spots, desirable models, his memorable moments as a car dealer, his all-time favorites, and more inside details. The book, originally published by Velos Publishing, is available in the UK and the US. If you're a fan of the show, you'll definitely love the book. We have the link in the description. 
Do you still enjoy the show as much as you did during the Ed China era? Tell us in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more great videos.